Up next, I want to take care of the third part of our process command. Let's pull that up now. Process command. And the part I'm talking about is this section right here. Right now, our implementation goes through each of the posts and it creates a new post. Now we know that that may not be the case. In reality, some of the posts might be updates and not creates, but right now we are just creating and it has sort of worked up until now. So it's time for us to actually do this the right way. Now what I want to do is I want to eliminate this from my process command. I just don't feel like process command should know this much information about a post. And furthermore, it cannot blindly create, but rather it has to check if the identifier already exists in our database before doing that. Now the design pattern that I want to use is a repository pattern. And the repository pattern basically encapsulates all of this logic into its own class. So let's handle that right now. I'm going to add a new directory in my source. It's going to be called repositories. And inside that, I'm going to add a new PHP class, post repository. Perfect. So we're going to bring this logic into this class. But how exactly are we going to do that? Well, let me show you. I'm going to create a new public function. I'm going to name it safe. Now save is going to accept the post as a parameter. And then in here, I'm going to bring this logic. Okay, let me import post. And right now this would technically work. However, like I said before, we want to check if identifier already exists. And if it does, then we want to update the fields. Otherwise, we actually want to create it. So there is a convenient function called update or create that we can use. Update or create accepts two arrays. The first array being what you're going to test against. So in our case, this line would actually move to up here and now the rest remains down here. So what this does is it will check if the post table has an identifier that matches this, then it will update these fields. If it cannot find this, then it will create a new record in the database with all of the fields, including our identifier. So that's going to work just fine. Let's go back here and we can erase that. So how do we get this post repository inside our process command? Surely we can new it up on the fly, but remember Laravel can inject it for us. So let's request one here, post repository, and we're going to call it post repository. So this will get injected in and down here we can simply use it post repository. And I'm going to call the save method on it. I'm going to pass it the post. Okay, so that's working good. Let's go ahead and do one more change here. So in my extra field, remember, we are taking a JSON string and saving it to our database. And down here, this is actually an array. And so let's JSON encode the empty array instead. Now let's go back to my terminal and I'm going to run PHP artisan press process. Up until now, I haven't set up a database, but I feel like now in my test dummy project, I do need one. So I'm going to make a quick SQLite database. Touch database database that SQLite and then Vim into my env file. Erase all of this and change my connection to SQLite. PHP artisan migrate and we're migrated. Let's run the command one more time. PHP artisan press process and sure enough that ran. But we noticed one thing right away. There is absolutely no feedback for us. We don't know what it did. We don't know what happened. So let's change that now. The first thing I want to do is I want to output how many posts. I think that's an important thing for a user to know. How many posts are we about to process? So let's do that in an info and we'll say number of posts and let's do a count on posts. Let's run that command one more time and sure enough you get number of posts one. Now after each post gets saved it would be nice to have a line for each. So this info 
post and maybe let's use the title okay let's run the command one more time so now the user can see a little bit of feedback on what is actually being processed and if I run PHP artisan tinker fit gomvt press post all we see that we have our record in the database now notice how we only have one record in the database and that is because we are using that update or create now if I was just using the create of course we'd get a duplicate of that over and over but we're using this identifier here using the file name as the identifier and so all we're doing now is updating so that's working out great so with these changes our process command is now complete so on the next lesson we'll move on to something else